Um, as you know, Tanya Ebert's been missing since Tuesday the 8th of August 2017 and is presumed to have been murdered. The last independent sighting of Tanya uh, remains at 3.18pm on Tuesday the 8th of August at the museum. And despite our efforts, we've still been unable to locate anything consistent with her being alive. Yesterday, major crime detectives and specialist police attended Orninus Park Station where they spoke to Michael Burden, the husband of Tanya, and conducted a lengthy record of interview with him. Following the interview, police remained at the house in company of Michael um, and other family members to complete a forensic examination and commence searches of the area um, of the house, vehicles and areas proximate to that. Michael was not under arrest at the time and at this point in time, there is still no evidence to prove that Michael is responsible for the murder, and we continue to work to prove who is responsible for this murder. During the course of the afternoon, police momentarily lost sight of Michael, and then very shortly after heard a muffled gunshot. They commenced an immediate search, calling out to him, and a few minutes later found him uh, deceased a short distance from the home and apparently he had died from a gunshot. As you would all be aware, this is now a commissioner's inquiry and it's also a major coronial investigation. And consistent with that, I won't be able to answer questions that relate to the commissioner's inquiry or the coronial investigation because that's an independent investigation under the exclusion of major crime, as it should be. Yesterday, people attached to the Commissioner's Inquiry investigation team attended the property, and their investigation took precedence for the time being, and we expect them to complete their inquiries at the property sometime today. At that point, major crime will recommence the investigations at the property and conduct uh, searches today um, of the homestead, buildings and vehicles in proximity and continue with the forensic examination. At the same time, we have detectives in Adelaide conducting inquiries um, across the state in relation to information that's come in since the publicity and we'll be planning for an extensive search. Um, we have spoken to Tanya's family and also Michael's family. Um, and this is a tragic outcome that nobody wanted. Um, we're committed to finding Tanya and we'll do everything we possibly can. Um, and we have a massive task ahead of us. The property is 410 square kilometres and we will retain possession of the property while we go through the forensic examination plan for an extensive search, which is expected to be commenced in the coming days. I'm happy to take your questions. Um, will Roseworthy remain a, a place that's searched by police as part of this investigation? Uh, we're satisfied the area that we were interested in at Roseworthy has been eliminated uh, at this time. Um, but obviously, um, as information comes in, uh, that'll cause us to look perhaps at other areas if people see potential sightings. I understand this commissioner's inquiry, but is it standard procedure um, at Royal Topics for police to um, secure guns? I can't talk about anything that might be the focus of the Commissioner's inquiry and certainly um, it's fair to say that the actions of my branch and all the attending police will be closely examined in the Commissioner's inquiry. Um, we are rightfully excluded from any information about that inquiry and it would be wrong for me to speak about it. Everybody was in close proximity but they obviously didn't have um, sight of him when he committed that act. That, sorry, that happened outside or inside? Outside. Are you able to put a time frame on when the interview with the officers ended to when he shot himself? No, I shouldn't speak about the Commission's inquiry. I should confine my comments to the murder investigation. And that would be um, consistent with everything that happened in the past. That would be the expectation um, of Sapol and of the coroner. In light of that outcome, um, do you expect it to be quite difficult now to find something? 
It's always going to be difficult. Um, and I go back to what I said yesterday. Um, we are investigating um, Michael, and obviously Michael is a suspect, given the reasons I outlined yesterday. He was the last person with her, and we always have a very close look at the last person with her. But there is no proof at this stage that Michael is responsible, and um, we can't exclude that there are other factors um, that come into play with this that may have contributed to his death. So we'll conduct a full and comprehensive investigation. We'll do everything we possibly can to prove who was responsible and, importantly, to find Tanya um, for her family in Germany. Where are the children? Um, the children are um, being cared for um, by other people. Were they there at the time? Um, family members were present on the property at the time but didn't witness um, the death. You describe um, that sighting at the museum being the last independent sighting of her. Um, is there a reason why that, that visit to the service station isn't classed as an independent sighting? Is there a debate as to whether they actually did go into that service station? No, the, the vehicle um, they were travelling in um, was a Land Cruiser. It had uh, tinted windows and you couldn't see in the tinted windows. Michael went in and purchased um, two energy drinks and two milk drinks. Um, he went back to the vehicle and you couldn't see into the vehicle uh, on the CCTV. It's reasonable to assume that perhaps the uh, milk drinks were bought for the children and perhaps the energy drinks were bought for him and Tanya. When you speak of this information coming in since the publicity around the case yesterday, you're able to divulge you know, how strong that information is and whether it's led you perhaps closer towards the property than uh, closer to another? Um, some of the information is background information in relation to their relationship and in relation to them as individuals. Um, some is sightings um, of a vehicle or of a person, but you know there's nothing concrete that I can tell you at the moment. I can say out of we've had eight Crime Stopper reports overnight. Each one of those has been allocated to detectives this morning um, to investigate. Um, and um, as to what comes out of those um, inquiries, it's too early to say. Are there any other persons of interest at this point, aside from Michael? No, there's been nothing to indicate um, suspicion attached to anybody else. What have you heard about their relationship? Sorry, could you say what that again? Can you tell us about their relationship and their marriage? Um, all I'll simply say is that there were issues within the relationship and we're speaking to different people and we need to actually prove what those issues were but it leads us to believe that uh, Tanya was um, intending to leave the family home. Can you show me why the couple had such a large amount of money? Um, the money that they had, um, there's no suggestion at all it was dishonestly obtained. It's to do with the running of the business and paying bills and carrying it, and she ended up with the money. Had, um, had there been any issues in the relationship that it required police attention or the attention of any of the other family? Neither, neither, Tanya, um, neither Tanya nor Michael were known to the police for adverse reasons. Had they expressed um, you know, issues about their relationship to relatives or friends? I shouldn't really go any further than what I've said other than that there were issues within the relationship have been identified to us and as part of the investigation we'll explore those issues and see what impact they may or may not have had. So there was no confession before uh, Michael did shoot himself or any indication of his involvement? Ordinarily I wouldn't tell you what people say in an interview but I can say for the purpose of this there was no admission. Um, Des, how are the officers holding up. This is obviously not the outcome that Saipol wanted at all. No, this, this is a tragic outcome. It's definitely not what anybody would want. Um, we feel for Michael's family. Um, we feel for Tanya's family. Um, you know, our office has signed up to do a difficult job and these, these sorts of things happen from time to time um, or they, they come into contact with horrible things. Um, we have processes in place to deal with it. Individuals develop processes to deal with it and we're providing um, support to our officers. They have expressed a willingness not to return to Adelaide and they wish to continue the search to find Tanya. Um, you, you mentioned obviously the, the issues in the relationship. Was there any suggestion that Tanya was perhaps thinking of leaving the country and returning to Germany? Uh, we haven't heard that from anybody. So just to be clear, the search area will be exclusively for property? 
yes, the focus of the search will remain at the property unless information comes to indicate another area that warrants a search. But either way, that property will be the subject of a very intensive search. Did Tony have any family of her own here, or was it predominantly Michael's? Uh, I'm not sure, but I believe it's predominantly Michael's family and her circle of friends. How long is that search of the property expected to go for, given the size? Um, in the preceding days leading up to this, we had been planning for our attendance and planning for a future search. Um, and uh, that will continue today. It's a massive search, and the last thing we would want to do is to go there in a poorly planned search, destroy evidence, destroy opportunities to have perhaps find her. So that's why we're trying to restrict access to the property as much as we can. We don't want to create more tracks. We don't want to destroy old tracks. Um, and we've, as I say, been consulting search experts. We're meeting with them again at 9.30, and we'll plan. Um, it's a massive resource commitment. It's costly. There's communication problems. There's logistical problems in terms of food and services. Um, so we need to plan it and carry it out well. Can you expand on, on, on why you think she's being murdered? Obviously, she hasn't touched her bank account. She's been receiving those issues with the relationship. Is there any other information that leads you um, to the I wouldn't go into that except to say that um, we've got a very experienced team of detectives and the explanations and the things that we've been told and the evidence we've uncovered, coupled with our past experience, indicates it's very, very unlikely that she's alive. Um, would it be fantastic if she was to walk in the door somewhere at a police station? That would be wonderful for her family. Um, but as I said yesterday, sadly, I don't think that'll be the case. The oldest child, um, was he old enough to contribute to the investigation and answer questions? Um, the, the welfare of the children and their level of development, they're both well, very, very young. Um, their level of development, I'm not sure of, but certainly the welfare plan that will be considered for the children um, will obviously address anything they may or may not have been exposed to. Last question, please. How long do you think that a search of a property will go on for the expected condition of the days? I expect today to be um, the forensic and the immediate investigation to continue. I expect this, the, the planning and finalisation of plans today um, allocation of resources, transport, all those sorts of things um, will probably take most of today and I would just say that it will be in the coming days and it will take for as long as it takes um, to see if she's there. Okay. All right, thank Thanks you.